Hello, everybody. All right, so we're looking for trades on what's setting up for tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to do this from scratch so you see it. Um, where is it? I'm going to do this from scratch, all right? So you get an idea of how to do this. So we know the trends already. Now it's time to mark the levels, right? And as I explained before, the levels, you have three types. You have on the supply and demand zones, you have the breakout, and you have your volume profile levels. Okay? That's it. Really, that's it. All three of them need to be validated with volume. If there's no volume, it's pointless. So whatever level, whatever your style is, even if it's Fibonacci or something like that, has to be validated with volume. That's my opinion after seeing how markets react again and again. And when they react, why they react, it has to do with the volume. So you need to see the volume. So anyway, Enough talking, let's just do it. All right, so we see that uh, on the ES, it's uh, reversing, and it's about to bounce. So, where's the breakdown is over here. It broke, it went, did the pivot and breakdown. So already my eye is looking around this area. This is the zone, what's it called? Supply zone or whatever, Some the zone. And the breakdown is the same area. Now I'm looking here. And I'm trying to identify the spot. It's right there. See this? This is a 20, 26 times 10,000 and 39 times 10,000. So, uh, we're going to... So, uh, no, 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 no. so when it taps this and gets above it, there should be some selling pressure. And if and when there is, I'm jumping in, right? Now, there's also buying pressure right here. As you can see, the 905 against this area. If it breaks out, breaks this area, I'm going to look to buy longs when it pulls back. But it all depends on what the situation is like tomorrow. But I like the area, I really like the area, because there's a supply area there, there's a breakdown there as you can see, and, and there is volume, basically that means there was supply there before. So you're going to have, a, you know, maybe supply is still there. So it all depends, when, when price gets there, what happens? And obviously I'm looking for shorts first and foremost not longs but if the market does reverse and i'm day trading i'm going to look for a long you know just to get the the move for the day and that's it all right let's move on to so what, so above like that 44.15 all right now we go to the oh i forgot did i forget something yeah 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 all right so i also i'm going to use the cause and effect right to see and this is really nice check this out if this bounces right you can see where it's projecting you can see so this is how I combine the volume is for resistance and the cause and effect so pay attention because this is not done the way this is done here it's not done anywhere on in, on the internet um, anyway so call, this is the area if this bounces up and you can see the cause over here. One, two, three, four, five. So the effect, one, two, three, four, bingo, five. This confluence of cause effect into the resistance is what I like. All right. This is the cause, that's the effect, meaning this is the base, that's the target into resistance with the volume area. Bingo. Very nice. Very, very nice. 
If this was a bigger cause, I'd be like, uh, maybe it might come up into this area, you know? Or if it comes back and creates a bigger base, then I have to be, excuse me, I have to be careful because, you know, if you take it out. All right, so we're done, all right? So this is uh, around, how do I get this right? Uh, there we go. All right, all right, now, for, that was a yes, now do you look at crude. So crude, where do we see the pressure? Obviously it's that 43 right there. That's 43,000 contracts and that's where I think it tapped before, right? Two, one, 25. And it might, I'm looking for it to go at least to that area, it might go higher, all right? So higher in the breakdown area, all right? This 32,000 with the 36,000, this is a pretty strong area. So say 32, uh, 82, mm -hmm. 8225 above there, above 8225, why? There's a 36,000, 32,000. And then it would it would be above this because there's a hell of a lot of pressure right here. So that 47 and 66,000. So now you, the cause and effect, if it breaks and goes up, you can see, right, the first I do the box, okay? one, two, three, four, five, six, I do the cause in the box. Maybe put one less. And then effect. One, two, three, four, five, six. It projects around 83. All right, so we have enough juice for, for a move to 83. And look at this mofo right here, <laughs> right? You see that how it projecting right into the resistance area right there? So 82.75. Uh, you see how, how this base, if it breaks out, I'm not saying it's gonna, it might create the base and break down in that I'm gonna take the cause and effect the downside target. But if it breaks out, it goes to 83. And what's at 83? Look at that line of resistance. Look at that volume resistance. And I'll have something to say about that a bit, but that's the, that's the idea. So if they get through 8150s, you know, 83 target, and see if there's a reaction there. All right, because that's the amount of cause. The cause over here projects to 83, as you can clearly see. And these are small term targets, all right, so don't, I'm not doing any long-term, you know, I see some stuff that's like multi-year targets, like you and I both know, nobody in their right mind traded it, no one's going to trade a 10-year target, so what? what's the point of, there's no point, right, all right, so, um, this one here, you see the wick and the reversal breakdown, Right? See that? that? That looks like a nice area. And then this, this one's even nicer right here. So we're going to draw the level. And this is if it bounces. This is gold if it bounces. If it doesn't bounce, it's going to go straight down. Why? They have pressure here. Let's see, this is uh, 82, above, above 82.5, right? So when I draw the line, that's like entering the resistance. All right, then we have another one. Damn. I don't even know, it's like uh, two lines. So we'll go here, maybe here is really nice. All right, so in this area, maybe it rejects here or maybe it goes up there, but there's strong, you see these wicks, wicks, let me tell you what wicks are. Wicks are nothing more than failure. 
meaning the buyers tried to go up and they failed. So that's why you have a wick. And same thing to the downside. So, and, and that also means it's a pretty strong area to put on trade because they're stuck buyers in wicks. And stuck sellers, when the wick is down, they, they want to get out. All right, so this is... I like this area. I like this area. It's a real nice area. 13, so just want to draw... All right, so here, 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 done. All right, so now, do I have any cause? I have zero cause. So it may not even go there, it'll just puke on the downside because there's no cause. There's no cause, there's one, two, three, four, like go one, two, three, maybe it'll come back up here if it reverses and probably, I have no idea, I cannot, I don't even, you know, there's no evidence to believe there's gonna be a reversal because these are all red bars, red, 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 red. red. But if we do get a reversal, these areas will be very important to look at. I've taken the cause, target, and I've taken the volume resistance both into account. And uh, it's as simple as that. All right. Now I'm, I'm ready for tomorrow. All right, that's all, folks. Take care. Bye.